tonight tonight. Normally, you love to take chances or yeah. go for 50-50. Yeah. You didn't get many of those today at all. No, got, I got a little conservative there in the, in the middle part of the game. Um, playing great defense, wanted to find ways to sustain and chew up clock and continue to put our defense in a good position, but had a, had a couple chances to, to take some shots and didn't, and then really proud of our guys for just continuing to play, man, and being able to score those last two drives. Uh, only had four opportunities in the second half, so proud of our guys for continuing to play. Did something change? I mean, it looked like he opened things up a little yeah. bit the last year. I, I needed to get back and be more aggressive. Talk a little bit about Tolly's game, especially that second drive. I think he had 59 of the rushing yards during that second touchdown drive. Just his, his aggressiveness and his physical play. Just toughness, edge, physicality, doing whatever he can possibly do to help his football team win. That's who he's been and uh, been, been great to see. Happy for him and, and the success he had tonight. What's been your challenge to these running backs as they're really trying to establish themselves in this yeah. run game? You know, it's, again, it's it's by committee right now. Uh, we're going to go with guys that got the hot hand. We've got to continue to take care of the football regardless of who's in there and, and put our, ourselves in good shape to, to be able to go score points. Going back to that second touchdown, was it kind of a focus going to that drive to, to establish the run game a little bit more? And, or is it something that kind of just came up? No, we're, we're always trying to establish the run game and everything we're doing. How hard is it to get the running backs? I mean, with, with as deep as you are, how hard is it to get them all quality snaps yeah. th throughout the week? Yeah, it's 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 constant. You know, finding ways to get those guys in at the right time, making sure the guys are warm when they get in. Uh, so that's a, that's a big part of the conversation in between series, understanding the things that we're starting with, what we're thinking about coming with, and, and having the right guys on the field. Jeff, the pass to the major, it's a great call. Did you talk about how you set that up and why that play? I mean, yeah. Just, just felt like had an opportunity to get him in the flat, you know, with some of the things that we were seeing on third and medium. Um, he made a great catch, really good job by Drake, and then Andrell down there being able to strain and finish and get us in the end zone to go cap it off. You, know, you talk about establishing the run, but especially in that first series, you guys were mixing it up pretty well. How much of that was coming off RPO versus how much of that was des design calls on your part? Yeah, a little bit of it was both. You know, we had the big negative on second, on first and ten, made a second and thirteen when we kind of threw threw the running back out uh, to the field there, and that put us behind the sticks, which created an issue in, in us not converting there on that first drive. Tell me a little bit about Jackson's packages and what he was able to do to kind of mix things up, change the dynamic of what you do offensively? Yeah, obviously we wanted to convert on that fourth and one. Not being able to do that is is a critical part in the game. You know, we put together, I think that drive was maybe nine or 11 plays where we, we chew up a ton of clock. I'm being a little more conservative than I probably need to be, and, and we're not able to pick up that fourth and one. It's invaluable for him to be able to get that rep and get that work. Uh, a great teaching moment for us and for him. So proud of him and his toughness and edge. Jeff, did you guys tighten up the, the receiver rotation? But it seemed like, especially in the second half, we saw a lot of the same guys. Was that just a product of some guys were playing well? well? Yeah, I think part of it's we only had four series. Yeah. You know, that, that was part of it. So our, our opportunities were a little bit limited, so that's probably why that happened more than anything. You guys are looking at Andrell a lot. Is that something that you went into the game thinking, or did that kind of just show itself? No, we, we want to continue to, to give him the opportunity to make plays, but other guys as well, you know. LV was in on one and had a chance to make a play on a third down where we had a chance to convert and didn't, um, you know, but a, a bunch of these guys are, are going to continue to get opportunities. Jeff, would you guys have won this game a year ago? You know, I, we won it today, so that's kind of what I'm concerned with. I, I do think that, man, sitting up there watching our defense fly around, how fast we played, how physical we were, man, it gave us uh, an opportunity offensively to go through some things and, and play maybe a little more conservative. and and uh, be able to chew it up, but uh, just proud of our guys. Jeff, how did Start you to wrap think up here. I thought he played well. He took care of the football, uh, no turnovers, <laughs> four touchdowns, obviously. Didn't take early down sacks, so really proud of him for how he played, played clean. Did you, Jeff, did you have, did you reach out to Arch Bryles, Arch Bryles and invite him onto the sideline tonight? That's my father-in-law. That's, yeah, so he's my father-in-law. That's a grandfather to my two kids. So he was down with our entire family after the game. Well after the game, but he was down there and with the entire family. There's, I think there's going to be people that have trouble squaring that a little bit because of his. Yeah, issue. well, that again, he's with his entire family. That's my father-in-law. That's the grandfather to my two kids. The, the name 
you were Bert was asking about uh, the package in Jackson Arnold. Venable said it was just sub sub package, nothing creative or anything like that. Do you all have a name for it in the offensive? No, we don't. We're just getting to a specific personnel grouping. Yeah.